Hi, welcome to the second episode of uh, Tax Pe Charcha with Shiv Priya. Uh, I want to quickly introduce you to our uh, signature GSP expert once again, Krunal. Hi, welcome on board. Hi, Shiv Priya. Hi, Krunal. Today we are talking about the implementations of Rule Fifty Nine Six on the GSTN portal. And uh, Krunal, my first question to you on this would be that you know GSTN has recently introduced the checking of restrictions on filing of GSTR One. Uh, I want to specifically understand from you that what are those restrictions? So GSTN has introduced certain checks on the portal, which now restricts the taxpayers from filing their GSTR one returns in case they have not filed GSTR three B returns for the previous two months or for the preceding quarter in case of quarterly filers. Now this power to restrict taxpayers from filing their GSTR one returns in such cases comes from Rule fifty nine six, which was introduced in January twenty twenty one. However, the checks on the portal have been implemented only recently. As a result, till the time the previous three B returns have been filed, the taxpayers would be allowed only to upload the data in GSTR one, but they would not be able to file GSTR one. Okay, Kunal, that was very informative. What I wanted to understand was how does this impact the taxpayers? So now, with these provisions coming on coming into place, the vendors would be required to pay their taxes in a timely manner before they can file their GSTR one returns for the subsequent month. Also, this will help the bona fide purchasers to claim their rights to the input input tax credits. So, in a way, this this will be beneficial to the taxpayers and ensure the timely compliances. Okay, Krunal, understood. And if you could help me and you know help the viewers understand that how do you see these restrictions? Uh, being notified by the government. Section thirty-seven, which provides for furnishing the details of outward supplies, does not make the filing of GSTR one conditional. Neither does it delegates the powers to frame the rules subject to which the returns can be filed. Hence, stipulating an additional condition by way of a delegated legislation such as Rule fifty nine six for filing a return that is required by law may may go beyond the mandate provided by the statute. I wanted to understand how do you want to conclude this particular topic. What is it that you would want to suggest to the taxpayers? So this move will now help in reducing the risk of input tax credits being blocked for the bona fide purchasers, because the vendors would be required to pay taxes on the invoices reported by them in GSTR one. Also, this will help the government in augmenting the revenue collections because this provision will restrict the utilization of input tax credits, by the tax was actually never paid to the government. Hence, this is beneficial provision for both the taxpayers as well as the revenue authorities. Okay, Kunal, that was really wonderful and very thoughtful of you to explain all of this in detail. I'm sure the viewers and the taxpayers and everybody who is viewing this video is benefited out of this. And thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. Thank you.